3 million for the tourism promotion fund and okay. potentially 90 million for refurbishment of the regional stadium. Mr. Speaker, to expand access to clean and adequate water for domestic and agricultural use, million for water and sewerage infrastructure development, cancelling 16.4 billion for water resource management, and cancelling 10.8 billion for water storage and flood control. In addition, I have set aside cancelling 10.5 billion for irrigation and land reclamation, and cancelling 1.6 billion for water harvesting and storage for irrigation. Mr. Speaker, in order to support environment and water conservation, I have set aside cancelling 9.6 billion for forest and water towers conservation, cancelling 3.3 billion for environment management and protection, cancelling 1.4 billion for meteorological services, and cancelling 8.2 billion for wildlife conservation and management. Mr. Speaker, to enhance good governance and scale up fight against corruption, I have set aside cancelling 3.3 billion for the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission cancelling 3.2 billion for the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, and cancelling 7.6 billion for the Criminal Investigation Services, and cancelling 5.9 billion for the Office of the Auditor General. Additionally, Mr. Speaker, to enhance the oversight and the legislative role of Parliament and access to justice, I propose to set aside cancelling 37.9 billion for Parliament, and cancelling 17.9 billion for the judiciary. Mr. Speaker, acknowledging the place of devolution in our country, the county governments will, will receive cash links cash link 7.5 billion as conditional allocation from the national government share of revenue and cancelling 32.3 billion from development partners, bringing the total allocation to the county government for the financial 2021-22 to cancelling 409.9 billion. Indeed, this marks a substantial increase compared to cancelling 353.2 billion allocation to the financial 2020-21, a clear testimony of the government's commitment to supporting devolution. Mr. Speaker, in line with the High Court ruling on Petition Number 252 of 2016, directing that conditional and unconditional grants to county government should not be provided for under the Division of Revenue Act, the National Treasury is in consultation with other stakeholders, is developing an appropriate legal instrument to be used to, to disburse additional conditional grants from the national government's share of revenue, as well as from proceeds of loans and grants to county government. Mr. Speaker, in February 2020, the national government and the national city county government entered into a mutual agreement in line with Article 187 of the Constitution, through which the Nairobi city county transferred some of its functions to the national government. To ensure that the process of such a transfer of functions is fully reinforced in law, the national treasury is developing a legislation to operationalize Articles 187 and 189 of the Constitution on transfer of functions and cooperation between the national and county governments. Mr. Speaker, to facilitate performance of the transferred functions by the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, I propose to allocate cancelling 27.2 billion, which will comprise 18 billion for recurrent expenditure and cancelling 9.2 billion for development expenditure. Mr. Speaker, to support county governments' capacities to enhance their own source revenue, and reduce our reliance on equitable share. The National Treasury rolled out a nationwide capacity building exercise for county governments on interventions contained in the national policy to support enhancement of county government on source revenue. Mr. Speaker, the policy proposes broadening of the revenue basis while enhancing counties' revenue administrative capacities. The policy further proposes legal framework to ensure that the county governments comply with Article 2, 209.5 of the Constitution of Kenya when formulating their revenue-raising measures. In this regard, we resubmitted the, the county government's revenue-raising process bill 2020 to this House 
in early 2020 for consideration. It is my hope that this bill will get necessary priority and approval. Further, Mr. Speaker, the government through a multi-agency task force has reviewed existing revenue management system with a view to deploying one integrated county revenue management system for use by all the 47 county government. The task force has completed its work and made appropriate recommendations for consideration by the two levels of government. Mr. Speaker, in line, in order to provide basic services to the previously marginalized areas, as envisioned under the Constitution of Kenya, the concerned county governments have been allocated Kenya shilling 600, uh, sorry, Kenya shilling 6.8 billion under the Equalization Fund in the financial year 2021-22. Mr. Speaker, arising from the high, high Court ruling declaring the Equalization Fund guidelines unconstitutional, the National Treasury has developed the public finance management regulations 2021, which is now before this House for consideration. Mr. Speaker, I will now turn to taxation policy measures for the financial 2021-22 budget. I will begin by highlighting some of the key measures on custom duty as agreed during the East African Community Partner State pre-budget consultation in May 2021. I'll then highlight some of the proposed amendments in the various tax laws relating to tax administration. These amendments are contained in the Finance Bill 2021 that I submitted to this House in April 2021 for consideration and approval. Mr. Speaker, the custom measures agreed by the South African Community Partner States and the proposed amendments in the Finance Bill 2021 are expected to generate an additional cash link 8.7 billion to the Exchequer for the financial 2021-22 budget. On custom duties, Mr. Speaker, during the East African Community Pre-Budget pre Meeting, the ministers noted with concern the proliferation of cheap imports into the region and agreed on measures to protect locally manufactured products from unfair competition.